so this is a fun lecture vlookup has a limitation that it can only search for the first instance of a name right so for example if i'm searching for let me just call it the name if i'm searching for the name here and if i write equal to vlookup the table array column number 2 an exact match it tells us 985 but that's the problem right darren is not appearing only one time so if you notice carefully let me apply a conditional formatting it tells me that darren is appearing four times that means that this one customer has purchased from us four times in the past it was very irritating because it only tells you the first instance how do you get the third and the fourth and the seventh and the tenth for this we have to do a little bit of ground work the first thing i'll do is i will create a unique count to find out the occurrence number or the instance number so i need to know that darren is one filena is one mick is one but this is two seth is one chris is one then this is darren coming the third time michael is one so you get the drift right this is what we are trying to do to do this we write a standard count if formula it's not a very easy formula but i say it's a standard formula because you will be able to copy and paste it to your own data set as well so we say equal to count if i'm sorry let me just do that once again so we say equal to count if the range is going to be starting at c5 colon and then we have c5 so if you notice i have kept the first item with a dollar sign so it is locked but the lower value is free so that it can become 6 c6 and c7 in the future and what are we searching for we are searching for c5 now obviously if you are searching for c5 in the range c5 the result will come as 1 but the moment i drag it down the result will come like this so if you notice it is telling me for example this one is 3 because it is a third occurrence of darren and how is it coming because when i search for c11 in c5 to c11 it has already appeared two times so the count comes as the number 3 obviously if i add darren once again at the bottom and if i copy the formula now it tells me 5 because it is the fifth instance of darren once we have done this we can simply concatenate the name and the count so i will simply say darren powers and 1 now this is the column that we are interested in now this becomes our lookup column so now we can say equal to vlookup but now my vlookup value is not just g4 it is going to be g4 and the number which is f7 the table array is simple b c and d the answer is in the third column and the type of match is a exact match as you can see we are getting all the results so if you look carefully we combine darren powers and one now darren powers one is appearing only one time in our table right but if you look at darren powers two again it is only appearing one time why are we getting these errors obviously because darren does not have a fifth and a sixth record if i added darren one more time then the result would have come as you can see um let me just do it once again here okay now you notice that if i choose darren and i say darren powers 5 it tells me 123 is the fifth instance for that one particular customer but you don't want to see these extra results right so we can simply put it inside an if error we will say that if there is an error that means that if there is no fifth or sixth transaction for that particular customer we should just show a blank and as you can see when i choose a different customer it tells me an entire log of how many transactions is under that customer like this so it does require a little bit of effort like i told you earlier you have to create an additional column like this one tip i will give you is that if you want to do this in one single step and not have to create two columns what you can do is 
to simply write equal to take the original name and then concatenate count if and just like we had done earlier we have dollar b dollar 5 colon b5 in which we are searching for b5 and this way using a single formula you should be able to get a list of new names i call them new names because these are all individual unique names and then this can become the lookup value so now we can write equal to v lookup darren powers and the number we are searching in column a b and c the result is in column 3 and it is an exact match like this we also want to put an if error remember so if error if there's an error then we want to show a blank like this so whether you decide to do it in two steps like we did earlier or whether you want to do it in a single step like i've shown you right now the rest of the process will remain the same